Hello YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Talk BFC video. Today we are talking about the relegation scrap, just with me. I wanted to have a couple more people on, on this video, but hopefully we will get to do that soon. Hopefully get probably an Everton fan, maybe a Watford fan as well um, on it, because it seems like they're the team scrapping it out. I mean, to be fair, we have helped Norwich out a little bit, bringing them into it now after their win against us. And obviously Everton beating Manchester United means that we are struggling right now. Four points adrift uh, near the bottom of the table um, in the relegation zone. And Everton are just four points clear of the relegation zone with Watford as well. Five points, I think, adrift. Uh, just, uh, just a point behind us, but they've, I think, played two extra games. So... It feels like Watford are out. They play two extra games more than uh, us and also Everton, meaning that it just feels like they are out of it. But obviously, I did a video talking about like the the Norwich game. Obviously, I went to that game. It was a good atmosphere. We brought a fair few fans, and yet yeah, the players just decided not to turn up. It's a good thing the fans turned up because then you wouldn't have been able to fucking feel that you know a football game was going on. It would have seemed like training. Um, yeah, uh, you know, and after that uh, game, I put a video out, obviously explaining the explaining, you know, the the match and how I felt and all that, and it got a really good response. So I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the for the response on on that video. It does mean a lot. Uh, we are also very close to 800 subs. So if you want mind uh, hitting the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. But today we're just going through the fixtures, really. Um, I've seen a couple of other YouTubers do this. I think the main one is James Alcott. He he talks about all the all the bottom uh, bottom sides, even adding Leeds in there, and 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 I think he added Brentford in there. I can't remember, but I'm only going to be talking about us and Everton. I did think about adding Watford in there as well, and there is a possibility they can still stay up. Same with Norwich, but I do feel like it is between us and Everton to stay up. And even though I do feel like maybe we are out of it now, anyway. I feel like it's still good to talk about because at the end of the day, there's still eight games to play between us and Everton. There's eight games to play, you know, for both of us. Um, there's six games, I think, for Watford to play. Uh, so I do feel like they're out of it. I, I, I'm pretty sure they have, if I'm, I'm just going to double check, they have played two more games than us. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm going to double check if if I'm correct. If I'm not, then I feel like I've been stupid. They played one extra game than us, so good thing I checked. They played one extra game than us, so it's not two, but it is still one, meaning they've got seven games left um, to play. We've obviously got eight games left to play, and so have Everton. So it does feel like it is between us. And Norwich also have played seven games, um, uh, seven games to play. But out of all the teams in the Premier League, we have still... Even though we are 18th and still with a good possibility of staying up, it's only because of the draws. Because we have only won four games this season. And the thing is, you know, you think you think back to them games. You think about the draw at home against Norwich. You think about the draw at home against Leeds. A lot of them home games, to be fair, that we drop points. Um, a draw against Watford as well. You think about all them draws, 12 draws. And if we turn two or three of those into wins, we, we would be fine. We would be fine, but that that but we aren't, you know, and that's the difference. That is the difference. We haven't turned those draws into wins. We haven't been able to win as much as we should have done, really. Um and it's quite disappointing looking at the table. It is very disappointing to look at. Our goal difference isn't that bad. It is the same as Everton's right now. And looking at the bottom, you know, we our goal difference is okay. It's much better than Newcastle it's much better than Leeds. I mean, it's it's better than Newcastle's for Christ's sake. Um and it's much better than uh, Norwich's and Watford's. Our goal difference is very, very good. But it's just scoring goals is what we're just shit at. We are just crap at. And we've lost this season 14 games and we've drawn 12. So it's like uh, Norwich have lost 20. Watford have lost 21. Everton have even lost 18. God, even Newcastle have lost 15. They've lost more than us. But we have drawn so many games that it just becomes laughable. It just becomes laughable. So anyway, we're going to talk about the next fixtures for both sides, for both Everton and Burnley, and see where we square off, um, and see you know where the points may may come for both teams. To be fair, for both teams. Uh, so let's let's talk about this. So if we go on to this, um, 
And first off, we're going to bring up Everton's. Uh, so as you can see on the screen here, we're going to bring up Everton's. They first off have got Leicester um, next next week uh, on the Wednesday. Um, obviously, we play on the Sunday, but they play on the Wednesday. They've got a quite a long time until their next game. At home as well. And they, they do play better at home, I feel. I feel like a lot of these away games for Everton, um, even though some of them, I mean, two of them striking out to me is difficult already. One of them seems like they could, they could get the points. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's still their away form is shocking. And they even lost to us, you know, <laughs> at, at the turf. So their away form is shocking, but so is ours. Um, it, I mean, it shows that I've I've been to most away games this season, and the one I didn't go to, we won. So yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, they've got to play Leicester, and I feel like that game for them they can pick up a point. I feel like Leicester aren't having the best season for them. They, you know, they have been struggling and their defence is definitely uh, easier to break down uh, this season than it has been in the previous seasons. And, yeah, I do feel like it's, it's still going to be a tough game. I think Leicester are a very good side, but Everton, I do feel like they can get a point from that. Liverpool, there's no blood, hey, hey, hell, hell, cat in hell's chance that they, they're picking up a point from there. If they do, fair play to them. But Liverpool pushing for the title, there's still a lot of fighting for them. And it's a derby. I don't think Liverpool want to win that at all. And I think they'll want to drag Everton into more of a into more of the shit. So, yeah, I do feel like Liverpool will get the points there. Chelsea, again, even though it's at home, I do feel like Chelsea will pick up the points. They are a very good top quality side. They have made a couple of mistakes and, and lost some, like the Brentford 4-1 loss. Like, but they are still a very, very good side. I think they proved it against Real Madrid. Obviously, they didn't go through in the Champions League, but... I thought they played very, very well. And they were, you know, I feel like they were unlucky to get knocked out, to be fair. Um, again, they've got to play Leicester, this time away. And at the King Power Stadium, I just feel like it's just different. It's a different atmosphere. I went this season. It's it's great atmosphere uh, at the King Power Stadium, I do feel. And, yeah, I do feel like that away game is going to be a struggle. And then they've got another away game after that. Um, and it's also, you know, very close to their Leicester away game. It's a lot of travelling. And again, you know, it, this one's in London. It's, it's further to travel than the Leicester game. And it's against Watford, who are also, you know, fighting to, to stay up. And depending where they are around that, 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 obviously, that game, that could be a struggling one. That could be one where, you know, Watford really might want to turn up to really survive. Because who knows, at that time, Watford may be the ones out of the relegation zone. So it could really turn around. And against Brentford, I feel like Brentford will win that. They've been on a roll recently. Christian Eriksen has just turned up. Uh, Palace, that literally could go either way. But I do feel like Arsenal will get the better of them. At last game of the season at the Emirates. And I do think Arsenal may even still be at that time pushing for top four. Or just wanting to get more points. I do feel like Arsenal will take the points in that one. And also, maybe depending on where Everton are, though, if Everton are pushing to stay up in that last game, they may go for it even more. But that might catch them out a little bit more. Like it did it for us, I feel, against Norwich. We were clearly pushing for it. We're clearly attacking more. And Norwich knew that. And I feel like they came and played without pressure. And then they were just eas easily able to counter-attack. And their counter-attacks look so fluid. And they just look such the better side against against a team like us who were really trying to be aggressive the whole game and it just didn't work for us. It just did not. Anyway, let's go on the Burnley games. Uh, let's bring them up now. So, as you know, we've got West Ham this Sunday. Um, a difficult game against a team, again, who is battling, battling for a Europa League spot again. But also, they are playing in the Europa League tonight. It's Thursday. They're playing, again, playing now, actually, to be fair. Um, so yeah, they they have a lot on their plate, you know. They they also are travelling to PS, uh, not PSV. That's Leicester. Um, they are travelling to Lyon, um, so they will have to travel back. There won't be a lot of time to train. You're hoping that, that you can catch them out. You're hoping that you know they will be a little bit tired. They may have to maybe change their squad a little bit. So you're hoping that, but also they are challenging for the Europa League. It's going to be difficult. I do rate David Moyes. I do rate the, the job he's done at West Ham. I think it's cracking. I think a lot of people underestimated him. I think he's proven them people wrong, including me. I underestimated him. And yeah, he's doing a fine job at West Ham. And we will have to turn up for that game. But away games just aren't seem to be our thing. Uh, but I'm not going to that away game. So who knows? We might actually win that one. Um, but yeah, I do feel like that one will be difficult. And I don't feel like we'll come away with any points, to be fair. Against Southampton at home, I am a bit more confident about our home, our home games. 
Um, we, we, I mean, that's where three of our four wins have come from, home games. Um, I still do feel like Turf Moor provides that fortress. I feel like, you know, at home we've done really well to, to draw. I don't think like we've lost a lot at home. We've, we've drawn a lot and, and we've won three games. We... We need to obviously win more. Southampton this season, we drew 2-2 against them away. But they are a good side. But they do have a slip-up. They're a very weird team. You know, sometimes they play superb and sometimes they just don't perform at all. They're a very weird team. They're um, a bit like a mid-table Tottenham, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I do rate them. I But I feel like they have, you know, they haven't performed as well in the second half of the season. But, I mean, that is the look of the draw. But I will... I'm going to put, hopefully, a point on that game. Wolves, it's a team that you can break down. Their, their defence this season hasn't been all there, but they are still definitely pushing for Europa League right now. Um, I don't think like, they'll get it, but they're still pushing for it, and I feel like it is a challenging game. Uh, anyway, I remember bloody going that Wednesday. Wednesday night, I went away uh, this season, Wolves away, booked a hotel, and it was a nil-nil draw. We didn't show up, turn up, and luckily... They missed a lot of their golden opportunities. I do feel like Wolves have that in them to just miss golden opportunities. They they do have it in them. They were, didn't show up against Newcastle uh, when Newcastle won one nil. They just they're a, they're a strange team, and I do feel like they have a couple of mistakes in them. And I feel like at home I would back us to maybe get the three points against Wolves. Watford is going to be a difficult one. <laughs> I do feel, you know. Um, it's just gonna be. It's just gonna be. It's, it's gonna be very difficult. Uh, end of the month, you know, we've we've been playing a lot in that time from the 17th to the 30th. Four games. It's a lot of games. We might be tired, but we do need to turn up for that one. We really do. That is a relegation scrap, and at a point it could be a six pointer. And I do feel like it will be a six pointer anyway. So we need to turn up for it. Hopefully we do. We'll see what we can do. But I do feel like that game is. Uh, is a must win. It is a must win. Like the Norwich one was and we lost. Um, like the Brentford one was and we lost 2-0. So I'm guessing we probably will lose 2-0 that one. Uh, since the other must wins, we lost 2-0. We haven't played Villa yet. So I don't really know a lot. Like I know I know about them. I know you know, how they played this season. And they've done very well, I feel like, under Steven Gerrard. I do rate him. Their signings have been great. Coutinho, I think, is an amazing signing, to be fair, for a team like Aston Villa. Uh, Digny is uh, again. I think he's been a great signing, and I do like Steven Gerrard as a manager. But we haven't played him yet, so I don't know what to expect. But it should be exciting. However, I don't know what to expect. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I literally have no clue about that game because we haven't played them yet. And I, but I do know that they they like to play attacking. They're very good. They're very creative side to be fair. But they they they. Their defence is, you can break it down. You can break it down. Uh, and quite easily, some teams. But us, is you know, we can't score. So, that's the difference. We can't score. We haven't scored fucking hardly any goals. You know what I mean? We couldn't score against Norwich. You know what I mean? But we'll see how that one goes. But I, I, I feel like at home we may get a point. But away, I don't feel like we'll get anything. But I'm still looking forward to going to that away game. Tottenham, I don't feel like we'll get anything from that. I feel like we were lucky to beat them at home. Uh, I thought they played well. They just didn't show up. I thought we did really good defending. But away is such a... Di it's so different because we just don't perform away. And that game, away from home, Tottenham, who are pushing for Europa or Champions League. They are pushing for Champions League. You know, they, they, they possibly still may be pushing for Champions League at that point. I feel like it will be a difficult game, but I, I, I feel like it'll be a difficult game for us and we won't get anything out of it. And then we got Newcastle on the last day of the season. I could just see a Chris Wood header sending us down. This video has been quite depressing because I've been saying basically we won't really pick up any points. I, I feel like we I feel like we have the opportunity to, and there is definitely games in there where we can. But it's difficult to have that belief. Especially after last week, you know, we, we score three goals. We come back from 2-1 down at half-time to beat Everton. And the belief's there. And if we beat Norwich, the belief will be... I would be doing a video like, fucking hell, we can beat most of these teams. But it's so difficult to choose. It, like, we know the job at hand. But I feel like Veghurst just isn't performing. I feel like he scored one goal in, like, how many games did he played? Like, nine? It's not good enough for a striker. Especially a striker who came with such a big reputation because he was... 
the second top goal scorer in the Bundesliga in the past like four years, just under Robert, you know, not just under, but he was under Lee for Robert Lewandowski, the only player who scored more. And you could say he's not getting the delivery, but I, I, I have to disagree. I feel like there is there is points where he's in them nine games. There has definitely been some delivery there. Well, I'm not saying that our delivery is great, but I'm not saying that it's that shit to only be uh, just once. And even if there hasn't been good delivery, fucking hell, make some. You know what I mean? I feel like, yes, we're not playing to Veghurst's strengths, but Jesus Christ, he has to perform better than he has done. I don't think he's performed that well, in my opinion. That's in my opinion. That's in my opinion. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully, he just, he just turns up. He just turns up in his last eight eight games because I it would be difficult to start him. I may start Vidra and Rodriguez. That's what I would think because I feel like Vekers has done like at least Rodriguez scores. You know he actually like Vekers. I feel like he's been a, quite a disappointment. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, and it's definitely not just him. But I'm I'm just pointing it out that I do think Vekers. We're in our fan base because he is new. He's 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 held on this pedestal because of what he's done, you know, other clubs and the reputation he brought. But I'm yet to see that at the turf. I'm yet to see that at Burnley. That's all I've got to say. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please sure to uh, subscribe. We are very close to 800 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please let me know in the comments what you think about our last few remaining eight games uh, and also Everton's. If there's any Everton fans in here, please comment down below what you think. Or even if you're Watford fans or Norwich or whatever, you know, please comment down below what you think about the, the relegation battle at the bottom. I really would appreciate to hear your um, your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next Talk BFC video. Bye.